We got a GM exclusive now. New hope for people with traumatic spinal cord injuries after a Mayo Clinic study showed promising results for the use of stem cells. Well, you've been tracking this story for so long. This is promising. Yes, George, we've been on this for years now, and we've been following this promising story, this promising trial out of Mayo Clinic, an innovative use of stem cells as a potential treatment for spinal cord injury. The trial results for the 10 people in the study are out today. It was the right time to check back in with patient number one. This morning, progress against paralysis. Stem cells taken from a patient's own body could improve movement and sensation in people living with paralysis or spinal cord injury, according to findings from phase one of a clinical trial at Mayo Clinic released today. This is a very stubborn disease. These findings give us hope for the future. The study followed 10 patients and showed that seven of them had an increase in sensation when lightly touched or pricked and had more strength in certain muscle groups. The remaining three patients did not improve or get worse. This trial shows us that stem cells are safe and potentially beneficial in the treatment of spinal cord injury. This can be a milestone in our field of neurosurgery, neuroscience, and treating patients with a spinal cord injury. If you push down on my knees, let me blow your mind. Wow. Whoa. Uh. Wow. One success story is Chris Barr, the first patient in the trial paralyzed from the neck down in a 2017 surfing accident. Trying Whoa. to moon, trying to moonwalk. <laughs> I met him at Mayo Clinic in 2019. GMA following his inspiring story of enduring surgery and therapy. He had regained some mobility and sense of touch, only to see his progress stall. It took him nearly a minute to walk just 30 feet. But upon entering this ambitious stem cell trial, Barr's fortunes turned. 15 months after being injected with stem cells from his own stomach, he could cover 30 feet in 23 seconds, and he was eager to show off. Does it feel good? Does it feel nice to just stand? And... Yeah, it does. Ugh. Never thought you'd do this again. I'm telling you. Today, he's 10 seconds faster, and as I caught up with him, grateful for it all. This whole intention was originally just to donate my body to science, and, you know, I never dreamed I would have a recovery like this. I can feed myself. I can walk around. I can do day-to-day -day independent activities. What does that do for you emotionally and psychologically? I'm just thrilled that there are people taking bold steps to try and do research to cure this. It's been a wild ride, and it's not over yet. No serious adverse events were reported after stem cell treatment, and additional research is underway among a larger group of people to further assess risks and benefits, and we're following new science in uncharted territory. There are still no FDA-approved treatments for spinal cord injury. There is not yet a cure, but positive results from trials like this one move the ball forward, as Chris put it to me, and news like this makes hope increasingly tangible. It sure does. I know. I know your family has been very involved also yeah. yes. in, in helping and the Absolutely. foundation. Yes, the Reeve Foundation is yeah. at the forefront of research like this, and seeing results like Chris Barr and those other patients in this trial have had just makes us want to keep working hard. Okay. We know you will. Yep. Well, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.